This video will explain to you how the spillage detector inside an open flue works. Now these are also a type of atmospheric sensing device. Spillage detection devices are thermal backflow detectors. That means that they detect a change in the heat within the draft diverter of an open flue, which activates them. They are commonly known as TTBs from a Dutch word, which I'm not going to pronounce. They are generally located near the edge of a draft diverter within an open fluid system. They're not adjustable and the settings inside them are preset by the manufacturer. They are linked into the thermocouple which sits down in the flame and we'll see that in a minute or two in the next couple of slides. They work by detecting the differences in heat under adverse, that means bad, flu conditions. When a flu is spilling in downdraft conditions, the sensor detects the heat and will interrupt the thermocouple system. This in turn shuts down the appliance. The only real thing you can do when you're servicing an appliance with one of these fitted is to check that it's positioned correctly in accordance with manufacturer's instructions. Here we have a water heater, small boiler, and it's got one of these fitted. And this is the TTB on this particular appliance. Down here, you'll notice the thermocouple, what you would normally refer to as the FSD. And as you should all be aware by now, this works by supplying a small amount of electricity to the gas valve. These two appliances, the TTB and the FSD, are connected by wires. There's a close up of the FSD and another close up of the TTB or the downdraft detection device, which is living within the draft diverter of an open flue. Now inside that small device is a thermistor, which allows electric current to flow when it is cool but stops the electricity flowing when it's hot. So you'll understand that while the flu is working correctly, cool air is coming into the flu via the flu, the draft diverter. And if it starts to backflow, then hot air from the flue will start coming out of the draft diverter. That means instead of having cool air going across the top of it, the TTB will have hot air going across the top of it and that will stop any electricity flowing and shut the system down. 
Imagine that the inside of the TTB is made of butter. When it's cold and hard, the electricity flows through it without a problem. But when you warm it and it melts, then the electricity can't flow and the whole electrical circuit, which keeps the flame alive, is broken. That's not exactly how it works, but that's how, if you imagine it like that, you can understand exactly what's going on. So here is a picture of a typical system. It involves a gas valve, your FSD, in this case, a thermocouple FSD, and at the top there, the TTB. Now, if you look at the drawing of the root of the wiring, it goes from one side of the thermocouple to the top of the TTB, goes across the TTB and back down the other wire and into the gas valve and that electricity keeps the gas valve open because you have got a closed electrical circuit. If the TTB detects heat instead of cool air, then it switches off the electric circuit by breaking it inside its own little valve, rather in the fashion that I told you about the butter. If it gets hot, it stops the electricity moving through it, and that switches off both the TTB and prevents any electricity getting to the gas valve, which of course being held open by the electricity will immediately close. So I hope that's helped you. Thank you for watching. This video was an answer to a subscriber's request. And I would say to you that if you want me to cover anything that you're struggling with, just leave a comment below in the video and I'll reply to you and I'll get a video done to address your problems. Thank you very much and good luck.